for a moment about the most challenging team you have ever worked on. What made things so difficult? Why do you think it's so hard for some teams to reach high levels of performance? As you think about these questions, let me share a little fable by an unknown author. There were four people named everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. There was an important job to be done, and everybody was asked to do it. Everybody was sure somebody would do it. Anybody could have done it, but nobody did it. Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought anybody could do it, but nobody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. It ended up that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did what anybody could have done. Does this sound anything like a team you have worked on or around? Unfortunately, most teams have had the experience of members who did not reach their highest potential or didn't combine their work with others. For many teams like this, the greatest enemy to their effectiveness is themselves. But some people may ask, why do I need to give more as a team member than I already do? Let me share some reasons why this is the case. First, effective teams require people with different strengths working together in new ways and at greater speeds. So teams need to figure out how to value these differences and capitalize on them by placing people in the right roles. Second, because change is the norm, people need to buy in, extend themselves, and give more of their talent and energy. The third reason is that no matter which jobs individuals have, all team members will be called on to join with others to make important decisions and tackle critical jobs. They need to know how to communicate ideas, gain support, and create collaborative relationships. And finally, people find greater professional and personal satisfaction as they participate at higher levels and find the power to make things happen in their team. Albert Einstein once said, only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. Let's contrast the fable I shared earlier with track and field teams that participate in relay events. These athletes possess remarkable team dynamics. Typically, each runner hands off a baton to the next runner in a designated zone. In some type of relays, this occurs as a blind handoff. In this situation, the runner receiving the baton starts running down the track reaches back with the hand open and receives the baton from their teammate mid-stride. For blind handoffs to be successful, practice, trust, and communication are all required. Without them, the receiver won't know when to extend his or her hand. Each team member adds value to the relay when they're positioned to excel. Teamwork doesn't happen by accident, so be sure you are making teamwork a part of everyone's responsibilities and helping people be value-added contributors rather than enemies of teamwork.